made a video about this. Um, and I didn't buy today just because the technicals look like shit now. But um, again, I said this before, and I should, I'm should i going to back this up. I need to, I need to show this, right? So, and this is a little ugly, but it's there's like four distinct phases of consolidation that in Tesla's history. You can see it here back in the 2010 range. You can see it over here for years. And actually, I should even back this up a little bit. Over here where it took a long time in phase two, and then we notched up higher, and then that one didn't go very high, but then it was just fucking launch time. So we've had like three phases of, of consolidation. They can last a while. They can last 900 days is what we had on a couple of those others. But here's the thing. Right now, if I look at this current level of consolidation um, and I go back to where we topped, we're already at 882. So yeah, we can go lower. And don't get me wrong, like shit can happen. And I wanted to point out, I saw this before, you know, I pointed this out, you know, again, top, lower top, lower top, down, hard. Well, over here, it doesn't look it doesn't look great. It's like top, top, maybe kind of top, down hard. Again, I think there's a good chance we fill that daily gap in the 140s. I would like to see a stop there. Crazy shit can happen though, man. We could have a W bottom where it gets down into the 100 range again, maybe a little bit higher than that, and then bounces hard. All kinds of shit can happen. You have to be prepared for it. What I want you to focus on and what I'm focused on with my June 2026 leaps that are still give me over two years for, for it to get above 330. Um, what I want to focus on is if we look back over here, when we dropped, this was in January 2023, look at how high we were able to bounce by July of 2023. Um, we went from $100 all the way up to 300 So, And I'm giving myself over two years to be able to execute on those options plays. And again, even just buying and holding stock, this company is going to come back hard. It's not like they didn't lower their full self-driving fees by $100 a month just a little bit ago. It's not like they didn't just let go of 10% of their workforce to, to make their margins better. Um, they're, they're managing this really well. Elon told you a year ago that it was going to be a shit show. And, and then he told you again at the beginning of this year for, for Q4 earnings that it's so fucking bad that we're not even going to give guidance, right? So it's not like he hasn't been advertising this shit to you. So suck it up. It's the world we're living in. BYD saw a 43% drop in their fucking sales on their EVs. Polestar saw a 40% drop on theirs. Um, everybody's getting fucked right now. It's not even just the EV market. It's also... Um, we're seeing this this pain in used cars and 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 new cars. That there's a lot of inventory piling it up. You just don't notice it as much um, from your dealers, but it's ugly. So again, I didn't buy any today, but my intention is to still do that. I will not sell my fucking calls. I will be buying more. Um, we ain't going nowhere. Um, Hood. I might actually use Hood as a source of funds in the future if I need to buy more dip. Um, I would be super poetic if, well, let me kill this. I think it would be super poetic for Tesla. One second, if I can find it here, or do I, did I just close it? I just closed it. I think it'd be super poetic for Tesla if the top this last, um, like a couple years ago was near 420. And if the low is near 690, ah, damn it. Didn't even hit the right one. I'm so failed today. Uh, all right. Um, so yeah, looking back here, we could go to 69. Um, that's that's where we have a volume shelf over here. And I made a video about this. Uh, it would actually be, if we got down to that level, I'd go in fucking hard. I would let go of a lot of other stuff if we got in at this level um, to, to buy Tesla. I would go into a lot. But wouldn't it be poetic if we topped out at 420 and then we had a low of 69? I think that would just be a no-brainer to buy at that level. And PE ratio, what are we even at today? Let me see here. We're a 500, we're, le, we're a half a billion dollar company and the PE is 39. It's probably lower than that. Um, and then we reduce 10% of the workforce so the margins are going to get better. Still a profitable company. I mean, I just got to, real quickly, we got to look at Tesla. Let's just look at Tesla. Super fast. Okay, sure, deliveries have dropped, right? Like this kind of looks like a negative trend for the last year, right? The one that... Elon totally warned us about. But cash flow, 
ticking up. Revenue segments are actually like sideways to up. Cash just keeps going up, right? Like we've got $29 billion in cash and bonds right now. And margin, uh, auto margins, X credits were actually up last quarter, which is fucking insane. You get rid of all the credits and, and they're going up. And the operating leverage still looks fucking beautiful. Look at their expenses. And their expenses just went down. Because we're, we're getting rid of 10% of the workflow for us. So, like, this, this company is still beautiful. And the only thing people are focused on is the flat revenue growth. Even though this company is just growing and growing and growing. And again, in energy, like, if rates, if we get a hint of, of rates dropping, we're going to see things go up dramatically for these guys.